Hello everyone, this is Latified again from YouTube and today what I'm going to be showing you how to do is take something from one image or picture and move it to another image or picture. So how we're going to do this is I'm going to open up two pictures, have a picture of my background and I have something that I want to move. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this dog, yes I know so cute, into this background. So the first thing what is what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get the dog out. So how we're going to do this is I'm going to take the eraser. I'm going to make it big. I'm going to make a circle brush. I'm going to do the bur blurry brush and I'm going to put it to around 147. I'll put it to about 60% opacity and I'm just going to erase around the dog. Make sure I get everything don't miss anything and what this is going to do is it's going to open up the transparency this what you see that's checkered is actually transparent so if you copy and paste your picture in make sure when you go to new layer for background contents you want to do transparent so we're just going to erase around making sure that we get everything and we're not going to try erasing what we're moving. Alright, so that's pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a smaller brush. And we're going to bring the opacity up more. And again, we're going to do the same thing. Just to erase around our target. Not trying to erase it. And now this, we're going we're gonna to have to get into the details. So you're going to take your magnifying glass tool, and you're just going to press to magnify in. You're going to get your eraser tool. You're going to bring the opacity up again, and you're going to make the master diameter nice and small. So depending on your size, I'm going to do 22. And I'm just going to erase around my source here. Yeah, be pretty precise. Doesn't have to be perfect though. But we want to make sure it'll fit in. So don't want to be lazy about it. The more time you put into it, the better it's gonna come out. All right. So obviously you can tell that we still have a little bit left. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna zoom out, or what we're gonna do is right click and press Actual pi Pixels. We're going to get our magic wand tool and press. So as you can see, it's not perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my eraser tool. I'm going to make it nice and big. For opacity, I'm going to make it 100. I'm just going to erase everything out here. And now I'll take my rectangle mark hue tool. If you need to, you're going to have to right click and then press rectangular marquee tool and you're just going to make a square around whatever you want to copy and paste then you want to press control C you want to move on to your document that you're going to put it in and we're going to paste it in so control V now obviously this dog is way too big for this picture so we're going to have to resize it we're going to press control T then we're going to go into one of the corners we're going to hold shift and we're going to move it in make it smaller alright and then you just want to put it down by pressing enter now obviously the color doesn't look right because it's kinda you know soggy outside the sun is not as bright as the picture it just there's a shadow it doesn't fit as good so what we're gonna do is we're gonna press control shift N or layer new layer press OK we're going to go to new adjustment layer, levels, press OK. We're going to do auto. This is going to correct the color a little bit, but still obviously not what we want. Now we're going to make a new layer again. So control shift N. Press enter or OK. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go to our brush tool. We're going to go to hit the arrow. We're going to go to basic brushes, press OK again go to the blurry brush not the circle one make it around 65 and we're gonna lower the opacity to about 25 percent 
now make sure on your new layer you're gonna do this you're gonna go in black and kind of just go around where your new source is we're just gonna make it all fit in so we're just making this whole trail a little bit darker concentrating on where the dog is and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring the opacity down by a good amount so this is just gonna take the sunlight a little bit off of it obviously you see it's not as bright now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new layer again go to image or sorry we're gonna go to layer new adjustment layer we'll do a gradient map we're gonna have a black to white gradient and we're gonna go to multiply and we're gonna bring that opacity down obviously it's gonna edit the color of the old image but it's just gonna make it blend in a little bit more so guys there you go we took a dog from the original image and we moved it into the new image so thank you very much for watching and I hope you subscribe for more